the choice is made. Origin of darkness is the form of the Destructor. So, I'm going to go ahead and try out Origin of Darkness. Uh, this is another one that I picked up at our friend's branching out bottle shop. Stop by, say hi to Carissa and Joel for me. Tell them that Narcloft sent you. And, uh, and ask them for the weird stuff. They will, uh, they will point you in the direction thereof. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the cool can art on this one because uh, Origin... Oh, boy. Origin of Darkness. I need two hands for this. It's a two-hand job. Origin of Darkness. Uh, I like the can as well. Uh, it says this is a... Uh, by... Pojala and Collective Arts, Origin of Darkness, Cognac Barrel Aged Baltic Porter, brewed with prunes. Interesting. Uh, like I said, I went in there looking for the weird stuff, and uh, and I found it. You can get plenty of normal. I did not. I didn't. I did not. I did not say that. I did not say that at all. Um, guys, please, I'm begging you. This is a, I'm, I'm trying to form like a partnership with a, with a, 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 a local establishment. Um, behave yourselves, okay? Um, but yeah, I, I, you can get a perfectly normal beer uh, over at Branching Out if you want to. I prefer not to. I prefer to get a weird beer. And so I'm going to go ahead and crack this open up. That was just auto mod that just holds it until I say yes, that's okay. Uh, oh, that's dark. That's very dark and with almost no head. Good God, it looks like chocolate syrup. It is viscous. This is a heavy beverage right here. Perhaps not what you want on a hot summer day. But I'm not in a hot summer day now, am I? I'm in an apartment. And it's nice and cool in here. Because I have two AC units running. Uh, so, yeah, she real dark, guys. That's not even like... Oh, okay, well, I'm going to try something, actually. There's a reason they call it... Origin of Darkness. I, ha I have a light behind this, and there's nothing. It's like abyssal. So that is uh, that's some dark beer right there. Um, but let's go ahead and, and give it a sniff, shall we? Now, right away, we pick up some of those things like the, the barley wines that I really like. Um, the, the chocolatiness is self-evident. Uh, that's a kind of a classic trait of a, of a porter, but the the pruniness. We got kind of a fruit thing going on here, and it smells like prunes. It smells like raisins. It smells like all of those sweet dehydrated fruits that I really like uh, when I'm when I'm drinking a beer here. Uh, some. No, it's all just chocolate and fruit. I was going to say, is there any roastiness to it? No, not an ounce. It's just chocolate and fruit on your nose. I don't even, I'm, I mean, malty, sure. But, boy, that's potent. Yeah, is one enough? Are six too many? I don't know. How many are in this beverage? Am I going to poop a lot? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If I have to run like hell after, I, like, I'll finish this beverage... I'll start playing Valheim and I'll be like, I have to go to the bathroom again. Well, then you know that it was too many prunes. Uh, but for right now, I'm hoping that it's just the right amount to make me feel regular. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started. Mm. Man, oh man. Is that like drinking a dessert? It's, it's like a cake. It's like a, it's like a creamy cheesecake. 
That's that is how like thick this is. Smooth and buttery. I want to try it. <laughs> I knew you would want to try it. It sounds so nice. Smooth and buttery. Indigo's gonna try it. Wow, it's like really dark. It's what? opaque. I tried shining a light through it. It's it's you can't Oh it smells so it smells like pork. Not really good. That's like a dessert. Yeah. That's so good. It's probably got enough calories for a dessert as well. Probably. I don't even care though. Mmm. That's wonderful. Very rich. It ought to be. It was aged in cognac barrels. Wow. That would so. explain why it tastes so pretty. Jen says hi, by the way, and she gives you a little heart. Uh, Indigo likes to try my beers now, so I frequently will will take a sip and then leave the chair for a few and let her get a uh, a sample of it. Um, but yeah, both Ethan and Jenny are here. Laura's still here. There's somebody else, and I don't know who it is. Well, hello, everyone. But it's good to have you, nonetheless. Um, but yeah, this is this is just fantastic. It's a, a I I want to make a note specifically of the like the zing on the tongue. When this hits your mouth, it like instantly, it instantly just just bursts forth with carbonation. It's actually pretty mellow in the glass, and when you pour it into the glass, it doesn't form like a huge head or anything. But as soon as you get it on your tongue, it's like zzz, and it's just fantastic. Um, I imagine some of that zing comes from the fact that this little baby is. 9.6% alcohol per vol by volume. Wowzers. So that's a, that's a heavy one right there. You really don't want to um, slam back more than one can of this, I don't think. Otherwise, you're going to be pretty trashed pretty quickly, uh, especially if you're dehydrated on a hot day like today. But I have been drinking my water, and now I'm enjoying my fantastic dessert beer. This is this is awesome. I've never heard of this brewery before. Pojala X Collective Arts. Pojala sounds Indian. Like, like a Hindi name. Like yeah, and it says the art is by Cassidy Ray Marietta of Columbus, Ohio. Huh. Um, imported Collective Arts for Stowe, Vermont. Brewed and barrel aged by Collective Arts. Hamilton, Ontario. Product of Canada. Well, they're, they really are nice, because they shared... I, if I brewed this, I wouldn't share it with my gross neighbors to the south. Uh, so, Canada, good on you. Um, thanks very much. We do. We love the Canadians. Uh, if, frankly, at this point, just about anybody who's not American, I'm immediately like, Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Like, I can't get more excited. Mm. By golly, that's mighty fine. It sounds interesting. I'm not a fan of beers like that, but it sounds fancy. You know, here's the thing, is that it's it's all a matter of what you're feeling that given day. Um, the last beer review I did was uh, Von Trapp Pilsner. Extremely light. Um, very sort of stereotypical of, of what normies drink. Uh, like a Anheuser Busch produces a lot of pilsners. You know what I mean? So it's not fancy beer, and yet it was good on a hot day. It's just what you want. Uh, this thing here is a whole other animal, and frankly, I, I I feel like I probably this is a whole meal in a glass. Like it's it's very dense. Um, but sometimes you just want something with a lot of flavors and a lot of characters, and this one has that to spare. There's um there's coffee notes there's a hint of bitterness but honestly it's it's been so mitigated by the cognac and the prunes uh, that that this thing has wound up just being just really really sweet in a delicious non saccharin non cloying sort of a way it, this is not a beer that's that's 
making you feel like, oh, with all of the sweetness. This is a beer that gets you with the sweet and then has nice roasted adult flavors on the back end that mellows it right out. And I, I just, seriously, I couldn't be more happy with this one. I like this a lot. Um, this is very reminiscent of the, the Spanish sherry barley wine that I had by Newberg. Uh, that is like king of my shelf at the moment. I, that's one of my absolute favorites that I've ever tried on the stream. Uh, so, speaking of shelves, though, I want to take a second to share with you my latest invention. 